Hey, welcome everybody. Um, I uh, decided to make another video for Turtle Graphics. And um, I came up with some ideas for ways that you can draw a turtle graphic. How can you go about um, setting yourself out to draw a picture? And what are some like hacks, tips, tricks that you can do to sort of draw it without really, you know, trying to reinvent the wheel or, or trying to make it more complex than it needs to be? So the first thing is for this particular uh, one, um, I have set up a GitHub site. And my GitHub site is called, it's a, a re repository called the Python Turtle Graphics Starter Kit. Right now I don't have a lot in there. At this point if you go there, all you'll see are two main files. I'm going to go ahead and click here. Three if you count the git ignore file. The first one is the turtle template, which just has some just generic stuff here that you could use. Um, that imports what you need to import, sets the title, creates one pen, sets colors, and then pauses at the end and then closes itself. And then the other one is a XY grid. It's a PNG file that if you look here, it's got transparency. And you could print that out on paper to draw a picture, or you can actually overlay it on a digital image to help decide where you're going to put the pen and draw it. And so we'll, let's go into some detail about that. But that is available. You can download it. It's a zip file. If you know Git, you can actually, um, you can actually clone it. I'm going to be adding some more pieces as we go um, to this. Um, and I already mentioned what it has, so I'm just going to jump ahead. All right, so let's talk about uh, one thing you could do is you could print out that grid, and you can hand draw it. Okay. So the grid I created is set up for turtle graphics. Okay. The center is 0, 0, and that's how Turtle Graphics is set up. Each dark line is 100 pixels apart, and then each thin line is 25 pixels apart. So it allows you to estimate locations pretty easily. And like I said, you can hand draw it. I even saw a student taking one, holding it up to their monitor of a picture, and actually drew, kind of tracing it. Um, not my favorite idea if you're going to use a pencil or some hard object, not good on the monitor, but it was a very clever idea. I like the thinking of it. I'll show you a different way. Now, when you hand draw an image, as you're drawing and you're thinking about what you're going to draw, all right, um, try not to like overdo it. So I recommend you stick to polygons, circles, semicircles are going to be a lot easier for you to do what you're doing. And then if you want to do arcs, there are times where you need to rotate the pen before you draw it. And I'll show that in my demo because I'm going to need to do that. And then um, you draw your image. Um, now, this is not when you're hand drawing, but as you think about it, when you draw in turtle graphics, you need to make sure your image is drawn in layers, starting from the background going to the foreground. And I'll show you that with um, the next set. But let's just go ahead and uh, let me show you my desktop because I'll show you the grid. And I'm going to do the quintessential smiley face for my first turtle graphics. Okay, so uh, I'm going to try to talk a little quieter because I'm a lot closer to the microphone. As you see here, I've drawn the smiley face already, and I've already done a little bit of analysis. I actually took my mug and turned it upside down and traced around it to draw the circle. And when you're drawing circles, of course, in Python turtle graphics, you need to know the radius. So I try to get the center right here where the center would be, and you'll see there's a zero, zero. And that's where we do. Um, so what I need to do is I either need to go up to the top or go to the bottom or to the right or to the left and draw my circle. Um, in turtle graphics, normally the, uh, the arrow or the turtle is going to be pointing to the right. And then um, if you start a circle going left, it's going to kind of come around that way, just so you know. So in this case, I need to put it down at the bottom and then draw my circle. And then, as I pointed out, the dark lines here, that's 100 pixels apart. And then there's an extra 25. So we have a radius of 125 pixels. So let's go ahead and start that in Turtle Graphics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this file right here uh, with uh, Adam. And then I'll save a copy of Smiley Face here, and I'll post that to the, to the GitHub site as well so others can take a look at it. And so there's the turtle template right here. And like I said, we need to move it down 125 pixels. And then we're going to draw a circle. But before we do, let me just go back to a concept I want to cover here. And that is when you are um, creating a graphic, 
when you are writing a computer program, there's a great uh, saying I heard, which is solve the problem first, then write the code. You see what I did is I solved the first problem. I want to draw a circle. I want it to be roughly that size. It needs to be 125 pixel radius. I need to move it down. I, I, I know what I'm going to do before I even write one line of code. I solved that particular problem first. So, and I said we're going to layer outward in. So the first thing I want to do is uh, draw the face. So the first thing I want to do, P1 up. I'm going to, oh, let's talk about this. Actually, before I even do that, let's go back to my slide. I want to just show you a standard algorithm for drawing any shape in Turtle Graphics. And this is the idea, let's go back here, the idea of drawing an image, layering it from the background to the foreground. So for each shape in your picture, whether it's the circle for the whole face, a circle for the eye, a semicircle for the smile, whether it's a square, a hexagon, a nonagon, whatever that may be, this is what I recommend you do. Step one, you want to lift up the pen. Step two, you want to go to the starting position. Where do you want it to start drawing it? Okay, then you got to set the pen down. Once you set the pen down, I recommend you set the color. Now, the reason why I would have you set the color now is because you may be drawing different colored shapes. So before you do anything else, you want to set that color. Once you set the color, you do what's called begin the fill. And it will start tracking where you begin. And then once you're done and you end the fill, it will then fill in that shape, whatever shape it's drawn. So then you want to draw the shape. And this could be one step. It could just be draw a circle or a semicircle. Yes, if they need them right now. Not only that, of course, it could be a really complex shape. It could be like some kind of irregular shape that, I don't know, looks like something irregular and shaped. I'm, I'm lacking in ideas here. Okay, moving along. Maybe you're going to draw an octopus and you need to draw like a tentacle or something. I don't know. All right, moving along. Once you draw the shape and you're ready to fill it in, you then end the fill. Okay, so that's the next step. And then you want to, at that point, this is what I recommend you do, is you lift up the pen. Okay? Of course, anytime you lift up the pen, make careful note to set it back down and you're ready to start drawing again, because that would be bad. And then you just go to the next shape you plan to draw. Now, let's just look at the code here for that. So the code is like, let's assuming our pen is P1. P1 dot up, P1 dot go to X, Y, that's going to be the starting position, p1 dot down. And then we're going to do p1 dot color. And you're going to give it two colors, the outline color and the fill color. And um, in just a moment, I'm going to talk about how do you change the thickness of that outline? Because some of you may not like it as thin as it is. And for my smiley face, I want a nice thick line. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, and then you want to begin your fill at that point, draw your shape, whatever that may be. And then you end the fill lift up the pen, go to the next position. Now, of course, if we're going to repeat these nine steps, and this is my nine-step program to drawing turtle shapes, um, notice step one was the lift up the pen. So if you're lifting it up and going to these steps eight and nine are sort of redundant at this point. Um, but it's the idea of don't forget to lift up your pen before you go to the next stop. Uh, so technically, we could loop back around to step one, and this could be a seven-step program. And maybe you like that number, in which case you'll do it that way. So now let's go ahead and do it. Okay, that's our algorithm. Let's code it. P1 dot up. Um, P1 dot uh, color. And then on this case, we're going to just use black for the outline, and let's just do typical yellow for the fill. Did I even follow this? Um, oh, I need to go to my location. I need to follow my own uh, advice. Go to. Okay, so where are we going to go to? We're going to go to the bottom of the picture. We're going to go 125 pixels down. So it's still going to be in the center. So we're going to put zero because that's the X position. And I'm going to put negative 150. So we're going to go to that position. And after we go there, we're going to set the color. Actually, we're going to set it down. Then we'll set the color. Obviously, the order in which um, once you've gone to the position, whether you have put it down or set the color first, that actually won't make a difference as long as you do both of those before you do anything else. Then, of course, you want to begin your fill. 
and then you want to draw the shape. And this one is just a circle, right? So we're going to do a circle, and we're going to give it uh, 125 as our pixel radius, and that's it. And it's circle, not Cyril, in case you were wondering. All right, so there's our first uh, six steps, and then we need to end the fill. And then once we end the fill, let's just go ahead and lift up our pen. And let me give you one other recommendation that you do. All right, before we do that, um, let's talk about draw the face. Oh, wait, I already did the comment. And that's the idea of, of comment your code. If you don't comment your code, you're going to have these, these programs. They're going to be hundreds of lines long because every time you give it one single command, that takes a line, right? So when you get to working on a program, if you get to the part where you've got like 300 lines of code and you have no comments, you have no idea what you're doing at any given time. So that's a really important part here. So the next thing I'm going to do to solve will be to uh, draw left eye. And then I'm going to go ahead and code out what I'm going to do for the remaining drawing and draw the right eye. And then that and then draw the mouth. All right. So I went ahead and, and, and copied that. I'll, I'll, I'll leave that up there because I coded it. But you see how this is working. Now let's go ahead and test this out, and then I'll bring it back to the code. All right, so let's try it. Run our code. Draw the picture. I have a problem with the background color, okay, because I didn't want a background color that was so dark. So we want to give it a nice, uh, nice color there. Um, I'll do... Uh, Six six nine nine CC. Let's see if that's any better. There we go, a little bit better. All right, so there's our smiley face. I told you I would show you how to do a thicker line, so let's do that. Okay, to change the thickness, uh, we want to change the pen size, and we can draw this. We can set the pen size anywhere. I'd say it's a good time to set it when you set the colors. So I'll just set it up here. P1 dot pen size. And then we just give it a number value. It's probably how many pixels. We'll try five and we'll run it again. See if that's any better. See how it's a, a lot thicker now? So there, we got a nice thick one. If you like it thicker, just change the pen size there. We've got, we solved the first part of our problem. And does it look like it? Yeah, it looks pretty close. It's a little further down than I thought it might look, but that's fine. So the next thing we want to do is just proceed to draw the next eye. So I'll show you how I draw the next eye. So what I want to do here now is just, I got to zoom in on this eye and see roughly how, how, what is the diameter or the, what's the, yeah, we'll do the diameter of that circle. Looks like it's about 25. So if we gave it a radius of 12, that would probably work. But this eye, I'm going to make it white and then I'm going to do a smaller one down below. And what's nice about this with turtle graphics is, once I position it where it needs to go and I draw one circle, I can just draw another one that has a smaller radius to draw that pupil. So that one looks like that particular pupil is about more like uh, about 10 pixels or something like that in diameter. So that'd be a radius of about five. Okay, so we need to move it to this location. And so I have to take a look at my grid. And so we're going to go for X, Y. We want to be right here. And so this one is going back 50 pixels, so that's going to be negative 50. We're going up 25 and halfway to the next, so I'm thinking about 37. And it's um, a positive number. So we're going to try that. We're going to try a radius of, as I said, 12. Okay, so we'll try that out, and let's go do the code. You see how I'm doing this? I just do it in passes. So let's follow the same steps from before. P1 dot go to, and I said negative, what did I say? Negative 50, 37. Do that. I want to do the P1 dot down. And then I'm going to set reset the color because it's going to have white pupils. Okay, so we set it black outline, white fill, P1 dot begin fill, 
And you see how nice it is once you've done it once and you follow it. It's pretty much you can just look at your code above and just keep following it. B1.circle again, and this time I said it's going to have a radius of about 12. And this is going to take me all the way around full circle, literally, not figuratively, literally. We're just going to draw another one, and this time we're going to give it, I'm going to start with about 4, and then we'll just test it out. Uh, but we'll go ahead and do the P1. Dot. Oh, wait, I, I just realized, actually this probably won't be a problem, but let's go ahead and just do what we see here, and we'll try it out. So there's our yellow circle, and there's the white circle, and there we go. It's actually not too bad. The only thing I might change is try to move it down more, because in my picture it was further down. I'm not sure why that happened. But at least I'm pretty much in the right sort of location. So um, I went 37. Let's just drop it down to 25 instead and see what happens there. I like the size of that, um, but then the one other thing I'm thinking of doing is, watch this, I want to make that, well, let's just show you what I'm talking about. Okay, that little circle there, I'm thinking of filling that in with a different color or just making it all black. So the way I do that is I'm going to have to actually end this fill, change the color, and begin another fill. Okay, because that's the um, big part of the eye. This will be the pupil. And so I'm going to do an end fill. Set the color again. And this time it's just going to be black. And black. And then I'm going to start the fill. Oh, begin fill, excuse me. And then um, we'll just, we already have an end fill on there. So it moved the code up just a little bit. And you can see we got the left eye. And we're just going to hit F5, see if we like the way the eye is. And then all we have to do from there is see how it filled it. So um, it looks like we got a good start. And so I'm going to post this code as it is. I am uh, going to put it on the GitHub site. And I'll let you decide to play around with that if you want or draw your own picture and we'll just leave it at that for now so stay tuned for other videos the next time i come back i think i'm going to do a video related to how you take that grid and superimpose it on another image